Hey everybody, Steve Spohn here with Spohn Performance. Uh, we just wanted to give you a quick little video tour of our tubular pan hard bar with the polyurethane bushing and spherical rod end combination. This is an adjustable pan hard bar. It's constructed of inch and a quarter DOM seamless tubing. Polyurethane bushed end would go on the passenger side. That's the end that mounts up on your floorboard mount. As you can see, we do have a grease fitting in place for easy lubrication of the bushing on the car. On the driver's side that mounts to the rear end housing is where we have the spherical end. We do that for two reasons. Number one, it's much easier to get to the adjuster down on that end. And number two, it keeps the spherical end on the rear housing mount and the poly bushing on the floorboard mount so you have the bushing to insulate road noise. We're using a 4140 chrome molly male female left hand right hand double adjuster. It's very easy to adjust on the car. You would just loosen the two jam nuts, put your wrench on the adjuster, turn it, that'll make the bar longer or shorter, get your length set, lock those jam nuts back down and you're good to go. We're using an XM series chromoly spherical rod in the Teflon line race. The Teflon lining helps keep things uh, a little quieter and smoother when you're driving on the street. They're very high quality rod ends. We don't use cheap rod ends, so they'll, they'll last you a pretty long time. Adjustable pan hard bar. Uh, is used in a couple situations. Number one, if you lower your car even a slight amount, it will kick your rear off to the driver's side. So you need an adjustable one, lets you shorten the bar up, get your rear centered back to where it should be. Another application is if you're going to be putting in an aftermarket rear end, it's always good to have an adjustable pan hard bar. A lot of times the brackets are not 100% accurate on the aftermarket rears the adjustable pan hard bar you can make sure your rear is located centered. The polyspherical combination um, is more geared more towards our street cars who want good handling uh, but don't want the, all the noise you get when you have a spherical on both ends. But having the bushing on the floorboard mount keeps things pretty quiet but you still have your spherical end to take out most of the bind. So it really improves handling. One other thing we wanted to show you is we're using a fluted polyurethane bushing. If you look at the inside of the bushing you see those grooves that run the length of the inside of the bushing. Those are called flutes and what that allows is grease to flow between the bolt sleeve and the bushing over the entire length of the sleeve. So you'll have grease there and you'll also have it around the outside of the bushing when you grease it uh, through the grease fitting. So that'll give you a nice, quiet, smooth, squeak for your ride. Bushings are always properly lubricated, so they should last the life of your car. That concludes our video tour. Thanks for watching. I'm Steve Spohn, and I'll see you at the track.